So Jennifer Lopez is getting a lot of, you know, people, let's just say, frustration online. Everybody is irritated because of stuff that she said in a song. Maybe it was meant as something else and people are getting misconstrued. Hey guys, it's Murad Murad. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Murad. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and let's just get straight into this video. So, she comes out with a song with Maluma, and she says in the song, I believe, um, yo, siempre, yo siempre seré tu una grita del bro. I probably have pronounced that so wrong. My apologies. Hablo es muy poco español. Lo siento. Um, but she says, I'll always be your black girl from the Bronx, which is apparently what it translates to. People are really frustrated and angry. Now, I can understand this because I, I, can, I can understand why people are really frustrated because they're like, Jada, what are you doing? You're not a black girl. But like, what are you doing? However, I do feel that the word negrita, as they're saying, actually doesn't mean black girl, rather can mean someone as, um, in so someone says, in Spanish Latin culture, negrita equals dark or brown skin, like a Spanish or Latin girl. It doesn't actually refer to being African-American. Um, someone said, where I come from, it's used as a term of endearment. In the Spanish culture, the nickname negrita is very common regardless of your complexion. People need to stop. My mother is light skinned and has been called negrita since her youth by family and even Spanish people from other countries. So it really could mean something else and not what apparently people are assuming it could mean that. However, I do understand why there could be immediate frustration because Jennifer Lopez is somebody who, yes, has had a successful career, less than I like she hasn't because she has, but because, you know, she took a lot of songs allegedly or whatever from Ashanti in a kind of weird way, you know, they were kind of her vocals and stuff. Something was going on between those and two and she kind of had her stuff taken away from her. She wasn't credited properly and... It was just a very mix up with the situation. Even some stuff with Mariah Carey as well. There's so much going on there and a lot of people know of it. So when stuff like that happens and has happened and is in the past and you know, JLo is allegedly associated to all of this, people are going to be quick to be like, what are you doing? Let's stop right here, let's park the car, get out and talk about it because it can be a pretty big issue. So I can understand why, but I also feel like there's just a language barrier situation going on here and it's just a simple misunderstanding and I think she just means a darker skin complexion, you know, a dark girl I believe rather than being like a black girl herself and you know saying that she is because people can be irritated because of what's happened with perhaps um, Ashanti and so forth who is a black girl. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this. Have you guys heard of this? It caused a lot of frustration in the last 24 hours. People were telling me about it so I thought I'd make a quick three minute video. Nothing long and arduous to talk about. Quick two three minutes and wrap it up and let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe to the channel, click that button and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.